morning. So what I'm planning today is there's another trail that I want to investigate. I'm not going to fully investigate it now. I just want to see the first part of it because I have a group of 4x4 enthusiasts that's going to that might help me carry it out some more. So. Uh, Right now I'm just going to drive right up to the start of it. This is B-Trail and it's going to branch out of B-Trail onto another, up another riverbed. Uh, and then I'm going to walk up it. So let's see how that goes. So this is how it starts out, I think we called it I or J trail, I have to check again, I can't remember exactly, but uh, B trail goes down there, and even though I can probably drive up this quite easily, I want to walk up it because I want to move through it fast enough, let's see what this holds for us. So this gets pretty rough rather quickly, but as long as we don't have to move a lot of rocks to get through we'll probably attempt it oh, this might be interesting but not bad we could go around there or just Work your way through here, move one or two rocks. I'm going to try and walk along what I think will be the best line to actually take this on. Now this is where it gets interesting. We're blocked off except for this. This doesn't look too bad. You can drive up this, although there's a nice drop off on the left. I think it's wide enough. Uh, we'll probably drop down there. And then Either take a line up the left here, or just go over this, or maybe to the right. I think around the around the left there will be the easiest line. This looks fairly straightforward. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Uh, unless you stack some rocks, I think that's impossible. Now conveniently we have this gap. And it looks wide enough for a vehicle. But that might be quite a bit of a challenge. Let's see if I can get a nice perspective on this, on the size of this. I think this is wide enough for a vehicle. Let's see it from the other side. That gap, that gap is wide enough, but then you come up against this. Uh, I think it's possible to drive over that and get around there. Might need to move one or two rocks, but not too much. Clamber over this. This will be <laughs> this will be a, an interesting one. The question is whether you can make the turn here. I do think you can. 
by going with your right hand wheel over that. We'll have to see what we can do about this. I think now these teeth might be a problem, but I do think we can get around them as well. The gap might be a bit narrow here. A couple of rocks stacked on either side. Not that there is a shortage of rocks around here. Might get us through. Uh, I think that is the first real serious obstacle on this one. Let's see what the rest of it looks like. Uh, a lot of options here. Just drive over it, probably more to the right hand side there. Take this line. Uh, there's a dip, so it might cross a bit. Cross over to the left a bit. Other digging for food, but I suspect digging for water. If you look down there, there's a puddle of water in there. So where the, the water after rains keeps on flowing below the sand, where you have a solid ridge like this, the water dams up in the sand, and then when the animals dig, they get water. So if you are in a, if you are in a survival situation, that's a good place to find water in the desert. This gap is wide enough. Question is what to do after the gap. Either you have to climb on to that layer. That left ledge is, looks very nice for driving on. The problem is that initial, uh, those initial rocks. If you get on that, you'll pass over all of it. It might be easier to go along here, even though it looks rougher. The rock sticking up is, is not that big. So we might get through this. I think this is not as, it's going to be interesting, but not as hard as the previous obstacle. Let's see where the rest of it takes us to. I've reached another barrier, another obstacle. There could be a couple of lines of approach. I'm just checking out. I'm, I'm thinking that we'll probably go around there, but if that doesn't work out, there's a possibility to go over the top there. There's a possibility to climb this, although it looks a bit uh, rough. This might not work out unless you do a lot of work, but it might. You could fill that gap between those two rocks. I don't know. Maybe going around that side will be easier. Uh, but once you've reached this rock, you're fine. You can do the rest of it. So if you do go that well, that route, you would probably cross over here to the right now, because that looks a bit rough. But this is not a finished and tested trail. There is the possibility to explore it as a trail, but I think you can even drive up there or across here. A lot of this is possible. What I want to see is where is our first impassable barrier? Something that will require a lot of work to get through. And I, I don't think I've seen that yet. This looks pretty, pretty rough. I mean, you can move. These rocks are loose. You can move them. I think we can get through here with a couple of hands in a half an hour. Next, this looks interesting, but not no work to be done. It's just going to be an interesting climb.
Okay, so here we could probably go up the right hand side up that sand bank and then it's flat at the top because this lo looks like it's going to be more difficult. Yeah. This line looks fine, you might have to move one or two rocks there with my hand. Oh man, this will be a day adventure. <laughs> really an exploring trip. You would have to move a couple of these rocks if you want to go along here. Not so much about the clearance, but more because uh, sometimes when you step on a rock on one side, it will move up like that and hit the car on the underside. So you want to take all of those rocking motions out of it. You can either go along here, look clear all the way, fairly clear, moving some rocks, or there seems to be a line down there. I'll check it out, going back down. Wow, now it gets really interesting. We'll have to take a closer look. This might be that impassable barrier. Or it might just be an excellent obstacle. We don't know yet. This is not as steep as the big climb on H Trail. But this looks to be more smooth. Even on the smooth rock I can get good grip. It's not that steep. Uh, looks like this might be impossible, not this obstacle, this obstacle might be doable, not across here, but straight up here. This looks doable, but not that. Eh, there might be some other possibilities. could move some of these rocks and make a climb out of there. Not as much work as it seems, they are all loose. Make a trail on that ledge going around. That could be possible to do. But I think for now this is a, as far as I'm going to explore. Getting on top of here will be a huge challenge. Uh, Not as, none of the single obstacles are as high and uh, skewed like as H trail, but getting through the first time without me having done any work on it, I think this might be harder even than H trail. Now on my, ah, oh, this is, uh, this is desert lavender. You don't see it a lot. Let me just show you. This is uh, quite fragile and we tend to uh, not touch or move it much, but if you just touch the leaves and it's, it gives an incredible strong fragrant smell. Desert lavender. Uh, okay. So on my way out, I'm going to put on, I'm going to switch on the GPS. Get some stats for distance, drop, etc. And then I'm going to post a video and the group who's coming will tell me whether they uh, want to think about doing this without me doing any preparation on the trail. So it will absolutely be the minimum of rocks moved, no plants moved. Let's see. Yep, that's going to be an interesting one. 
It's, got, it's one of those that will get the adrenaline flowing. But uh, I think certainly doable. Not bad. I think entirely possible. But interesting. I think that's entirely doable. It's steeper that last bit, but I don't think that's too bad. There's some crossovers and stuff happening, and then you have to contend with this gully at the top there, but I think there's enough space. We'll make it interesting, but you're not going to cross this. You're going to go around the top, except for that last bit, maybe. So that is 1.6 kilometers in, a climb of about 50 meters from here to the top. Right, the objective with this walk was to see, first of all, whether uh, this will possibly be a new trail. And I think in that regard, yes, uh, there's some work to be done before you can get through it. Uh, to another point that I want to reach uh, but the second objective uh, is also possible to be uh, an exploratory trail for the group of 4x4 enthusiasts and experts that are coming uh, in a week or so to do some of the trails and I hope to show some of that in the videos I think that will be uh, really interesting to see different perspectives and different uh, reactions to the trails I would like to see because I'm not a 4x4 expert at all and I would like to know how my view about the trails compared to those who have done more 4x4 than I've done uh, we'll see uh, and I think that's it for now if this becomes a trail, you will see a lot more of it. And if the group decides to take it on, you will also see more of it. See you on the next one. Cheers.